Recording in progress. Okay, good morning all. <coughs> so my name is Govind. So I will be handling uh, political science and international relations for you. So last two, two three days, uh, since I have fever, okay, so today I am not in best, okay, still have cold, okay. So otherwise, voice will not be like this, okay. So anyway, you see, um, so welcome to first, welcome to PSAR, okay, political science and international relations, okay. So I am uh, taking political science uh, since 2016 in uh, Shankar Reyes Academy. So earlier I was taking in other branches like Trivandrum and then in ADR branch. So since 2020 I am taking here, okay. Um, and then for GS I am taking bilateral relation for you. So people might be attending GS also, okay. So I will be coming for bilateral relation for you, okay. <coughs> So first, uh, in today's class, what we are going to do is yes, we are going to discuss six things, okay. So number one, whether the subject is a right subject for you, so that you have to evaluate, no? Okay, so because once we, you get into that subject, that means once you start preparation after that, there is no turn back. So you have to, that means once you start after that, you have to finish, that's all. That is the only uh, thing you, you have to do, okay. That we will evaluate. I will tell you whether, that means again, uh, many people might have, already might have confirmed or many people may, may be still in the oscillation mode, okay, so this or that like that, okay, so for those people, okay, so we will make it uh, uh, very short and then we will discuss why PSAR is a very good subject for preparing UPSC, so that we will discuss and then I will introduce you into the subjects, okay, what all the things we are going to read in the, in the syllabus that we will discuss and then we will discuss about how our program is going to be there, okay, because for another six months, so regularly we are going to meet okay six to seven months maybe six months okay and then how the test schedule will be there how the classes will be there what you have to do what i have to do what both have to do so all three is important okay so when only all these three things work well then only the program will be successful you will be ready for examination by 2024 okay and then generally we will discuss what is the strategy for preparation generally Okay, so because uh, already they might have given you the introduction, okay, to the UPSC examination, etc., etc. So in PSAR angle, how we have to approach this, that, that is very important because we have certain advantages. So through that advantages, we have to approach GS also. So holistically, how a PSAR student have to handle, so that part we will discuss and then finally we will go for a question. If you have any questions, means you can ask me, I will answer, okay. <clears throat> so first thing is, see, um, whether PSAR subject is the right subject for you. See, for that, for choosing any option subject, because GS is common for everybody, that everybody know. Option subject is an option, its name itself is option, okay. So it is your option, your option. So that is the point, your option, you are choosing it. So it has to be the best choice, okay. See, in preliminary four choices are there. You have to choose the best choice, not the second best choice or the third best choice or the wrong choice. All are wrong, except one choice, four choice means one choice is your best choice. Okay, so how, what are the criteria generally uh, to choose a subject, optional subject is number one. See, the, the mo most important factor is whether you have interest in that subject. That is number one. Okay, more than whether the subject is easy, wrong, that, that all doesn't matter. Even if it is Chinese, we are interested in that Chinese language, it is written, no problem. If we have interest means we can crack. Sometimes easy subjects will be there, if you are taking it means, generally I am telling, uh, taking it but uh, you are not interested in that means, the, even the easiest chapters, the easiest topics, the easiest subject will be the toughest part. Okay, so it is not about whether it is easy or tough, it is all about whether you are interested in that or not interested in that. If you are interested in that means, the things are very easy, okay. So that means even if it is tough, no problem. Okay, luckily our subject is not like that. Okay, in general I am telling, even if you are taking some hardest job and you are doing it with uh, your full involvement and with passion, things will become easy. Entire UPSC preparation is like that. From outside uh, people say it is very tough, but it is tough for the people who think that it is tough. Okay, so just you should have that passion, just to think about what will happen once you clear this examination, how, you, you, uh, how the things will look like. Like that if you imagine means then easily you can easily you can uh, uh, do the work. A toughest job can be done easily if you are interested and if you have the passion and if you have the willingness to do.
okay. So, first is interest, okay, whether you find out whether the subject is interesting or not, that is number one. To find out what is interesting, whether the subject is interesting or not, how to find it out? You have to read it, that is the only way, okay, you can take the NCRT books, sir. The 11th, 12th, political science book is there or any other subject if you are uh, opting means. You take that book, read that book and then find out whether you can go with that. Okay, if it is okay means then okay. So, interest is number one, okay. So, so two third of the uh, deciding factor is interest. And then second one is, the most important thing is how much that particular option subject is going to help us in GS. So, that factor also you have to take into account. For example, literature papers are there very easy only compared to any other subject literature is easy any literature i am telling i am not talking about tamil literature hindi majority of the people who are writing upsc will put hindi literature that is the top uh, uh, number of candidates who opt for option subject but uh, but subject may be easy uh, depending upon the interest again but what i am telling is how far you have it is going to help us in the gs that is important because gs is a very vast subject if lot of things overlaps means uh, uh, the subject helps in GS means, so that subject is an easy subject because majority of the student including here also, <coughs> I, uh, uh, you have to note that 100, 100 students are there means 90 to 95 percentage of the students will be from engineering background including myself. So, I am, I am an uh, engineering uh, grad, graduate, okay. So, B Tech Information Technology 2005 batch and I am, I also completed my law degree, so okay. I am not, I am not going to court, court properly, but uh, still I am a lawyer, okay. So, anyway, so it is not about, uh, that means, uh, that means, uh, that means uh, uh, you are taking certain subject that is not helping in GS means, uh, it is not uh, advisable to take that subject, okay. But otherwise, if you, you should have extreme interest in that. You know that subject uh, top to bottom, okay, I am very comfortable with subject English literature, okay, you can take it, okay, no harm in that. I am not telling that it is bad. But wise decision is that it is uh, that means taking a subject which is not helping GS may not be a bad decision, but uh, taking a subject which is going to help in a GS is going to be a wise decision. Again, taking the right choice is important before stepping into the preparation. Okay, so we have to find out which subject is going to help means definitely I will tell you hundred percentage the first choice will be PSAR only. Okay, so unlike any other subjects, so any subject a lot of subjects are there from social uh, science backgrounds, geography, history, like that, lot of subjects are there. All subjects are equally good, yes, in terms of content, okay. But what I am telling is in terms of helping in GS, overlapping in GS, all subjects may help you in 15 percentage, 20 percentage. But PSAR, I will tell you, it is going to help you 60 percentage, minimum, minimum I am telling, minimum 60 percentage, minimum, to the minimum 60 percent, no other subject is there near to this, even, not even half to PSAR. I, I, I will show you what all the subjects, how it overlaps that we will discuss. So, that is second one. And third one is uh, obviously guidance is required, okay. So, earlier for PSAR guidance was not there. In Chennai, uh, people have to go to Delhi like that things were there. Now, it is available, okay. For other subjects also, if you are checking means, you are, you, are, you, are, you are thinking about other subjects also, check that whether proper guidance is there. Without guidance, can you prepare means? Yes, you can prepare, okay. I am not telling that uh, uh, subject, that means guidance is required institution like this or staff uh, help, peer groups, okay. So, without that also you can prepare, but what will happen is, sometimes I will tell you my experience, when I started preparation, by the time there was no big guidance was there, I started on my own, uh, by the time two options were there, one is PSAR, another one is geography, I took geography. So, what I did is, uh, UPS examination, tough examination, so by the time net is also not that much popular, net was there, but information regarding UPSC, the content and all was not there. So, what I did is I searched in Google and then find out some standard books regarding geography, bought it outside from outside India, imported and then bought it and then began to read it, okay. So, by the time I did not even met another student who actually prepares. Ultimately, came to an understanding after 2-3 years that my, what the route what I am going is not at all, uh, that means uh, is um, in lines with the UPSC preparation. Subject wise to become a professor or to do PhD, PhD I am telling, that is good. But to clear this examination, certain conditions are there, certain requirements are there, it does not meet it, okay. And I thrown all the books and then, and then started with the NCRT again, okay. And then, and then later only with, uh, when, when I got some friends, after that only I came to know all these things. 
So like that when you prepare on your own what problem you will face when so you will be going in a different direction. You, you may be very good in that subject. You may, uh, that means what I am telling is no need to dig very deep into the subject. Okay. And again this class is not going to be a philosophical class or a complete political science uh, master degree class. No. Okay. So this class is meant for clearing the examination. So what are the requirement to clear the examination? How far you have to read? That part only we are going to do. I am not going to teach political science for you. Political science means in academic uh, uh, view I am telling. Like uh, you have joined MA political science, how they will teach? No, not like that. For the examination, what all the things it is required? In, so that means my approach may, may not be, uh, I may not be asking you people to just mug it up and then go and write. No, not like that. See, my approach is going to be very, very simple. Okay. To the down. Okay. That means like a layman approach. Okay. This is the subject. This is the concept. Read this. Understand this. And whatever question they are asking, you have to uh, write according to the questions. Okay. And the, the, the second, that means uh, beginner level, 100% I will handle. Intermediate level, I can help you in certain level. That expert level and all, you have to push. That you have to come to me again uh, for mains preparation. Okay. By the, by the time my test batch will be there. So by the time when you come in, we can, we can uh, go for that expert level. So my, my entire idea will be the foundation only. Okay, foundation, the basic. That means you can live in uh, on your own. You can handle on your own. So like that only, my approach is going to be there. Okay, so um, so the guidance is required. So just to check it. Okay, so interest, how far it is going to help your GS subject, and third one, whether guidance is there. So compared to our uh, UPSC, PSAR, if you take means, interest means you have to note that. See, all people have to definitely read the newspaper. It is a must for a student who is going to clear the UPSC examination, if you are uh, targeting 2024 months, reading newspaper is must. Many people I know, 100 percentage I know, and at least 95 percentage, more than 90, even 99 I will tell you, so far people does not have the habit of newspaper reading. Without that, whatever option you are taking, even you are taking Chinese as your option, you have to read the newspaper. Okay, that following newspaper is a must. Okay, so the, not even 0.1 percent relaxation is there. 100 percent you have to read the newspaper. Okay, and uh, and since the newspaper reading is very very mandatory for GS, uh, you, uh, that that means no other option is there for you. No other alternative is also there. So people may get some compilations. Okay, so that and all it is a supplementer. I guess supplement supplement means. So main food is the supplement is the tablet is a supplement main food is the main thing okay if you want something in your body you want some nutrient means you have to take it through your food only not through the tablets tablets means in addition to that you can take it so you can understand so what i'm telling is this newspaper is the main food the supplements are tablets something is not working well means then only you have to take tablet daily you can't live on tablets no so what i'm telling is you have to read newspaper and fortunately our subject you have to note that if you read newspaper means half of the subject is covered. Okay, so we have this advantage. So, so for PSA, for other options, for uh, any other option, I am telling uh, literature or any other option generally, I am telling, maybe uh, reading newspaper may not be uh, important. May not be history, geography may not be important. Okay, so but for PSA, reading newspaper is important again. How it is important for GS equally more than equally, I am telling. Um, it is important for PSA. So our subject is having a characteristic. What are all the things a particular candidate have to do to clear the UPS examination? Same thing applies to PSA also. So you definitely you have to do it. No other option is there. Okay. So that means you are, you are being forced to do that. That means forced means even you don't like you have to bring that particular practice. It will take time. We can we can we can uh, make it as a practice within a month. Okay. So, uh, so, so that means uh, 60, two third of the syllabus approximately our PSAR coincides with GS. So that you have to note it. Okay. And then, and then second is in our subject, what type of subject is our subject is? See, we have concepts, we have application part also. That means we have static part and we also have application part. And note that whatever static part you are reading, for example, the thinkers, old thinkers like Plato, Aristotle, we are going to read it. Once you know the concept, then you should know how these ideas can be applied to India today. Like that, if you can do it, means you will get the maximum marks. That's all. Very simple. It's not just reading what Plato said. What is the use of reading what Plato said? Plato lived here in the, this earth. 
more than 2000 years before why we have to read about his ideas the guy lived more than 2000 years before why why what is the purpose of reading that particular topic see bring that particular topic and try to connect this with the present day context we can do that means we have the table it means the subject is yours that's all okay the application so even after reading plato the static part you have to apply that particular thing so you should have that ability okay so dynamic part is also there static part is also there. even in static part you have to make it dynamic so our subject is the most dynamic subject in the list of options i will tell you no other subject is there as dynamic as this subject because uh, again more than 50 to 60 percentage of the subjects will be covered by reading newspaper itself so newspaper is dynamic daily you have to read it till the interview you have to read it. even when you enter into the service daily you have to read it okay the newspaper reading is going to be a part of your life till you retire even after you retire you you will find very difficulty without reading a newspaper you will be very uncomfortable okay so this is going to be a part of your life here afterwards okay so so since these things are important for psir gs is going to be easy for us that's all. handling gs so only when you know when you when you are preparing for mains examination you will know about the uh, that means the specialty of psir how far this is helping our subjects maybe uh, until preliminary examination people uh, like other students uh, this is a, is a just another subject for mains lot of gs so three gs paper is there plus ethics paper is there for, for all the gs papers our paper is going to help you our paper is going to help you okay so so that means so, so in a video game you have to note that bonus will be there what do you have to do you have to go and take the bonus otherwise just your running means after that what will happen the power of that particular uh, that that game that that uh, that will be gone that's all you take the bonus means you can do better so bonus are there lot of bonuses are there if you take the bonus means then then uh, uh, psir also we can score maximum marks number 1 <laughs> and number 2 in gs also you can take lot of benefit that means advantage you will be you will be having more advantage than other students who are taking other options okay and then <clears throat> and then just i will show you how this yes okay so online students you can uh, I, i will ask you questions a little later okay okay um, that means by we will interact don't worry okay and then uh, next i will show you how this how for this uh, uh, psir um is going to helpful in your uh, gs just i will just i will show you okay see <clears throat> see first you see we have two papers paper 1 paper 2 okay in each paper you have two sections section a section b so this is applicable to all the all the option paper okay two option papers psir paper 1 psir paper 2 two papers are there in every paper two sections are there section a section b so most probably uh, leave other subjects are coming to psir section a is concepts section b is application part okay section a we will be reading about what the ideas section b will be applying that particular idea okay so in paper 1 section a we will go through detail in paper 1 section a uh, in all the sections approximately 10 10 chapters will be there so all together around 40 chapters we have to read to complete the entire paper so paper 1 section a so i will share this no need to write just uh, check it okay in the syllabus you can write it later when when uh, when, I, when we discuss the syllabus see uh, 10 chapters are there in 10 chapters uh, there are certain areas you will be reading it only for political science sake out of the 40 40 chapters and there are certain areas which will 100% will help you in gs and partially will help you in gs like the three three categories of uh, chapters are there so which is not highlighted that means chapter 1 chapter 2 pure political science but uh, this four chapters you have to note that this will may be helpful for your ethics because in ethics paper gs for mains is there in that uh, you will be reading about lot of concepts like uh, what is called justice what is called equality what is called rights what is called democracy so these these things are the essence of the ethics paper okay so we are not going to read anything um, directly about ethics but you will know the foundation of this uh, this ideas what is called justice 
nobody can define it because there is no definition for justice that depends upon which group you are how far you that means how uh, uh, how you are been unfairly treated based on that only we can claim what is called justice we will be discussing that in detail okay so you have to note that the core idea what different thinkers said what all the different perspectives of each and every idea so those things you will know so once I, I, and i am not telling that in ethics paper you will be writing like this how we write in political science no so don't take like that okay so this is the core complete core idea different angles of that particular idea how a particular idea can be viewed once you know that after that uh, uh, ethics paper is literally application part easily you can do it without the basis how other students are doing it i don't know so this is an essential you have to read all these things what is called justice what is called equality what is called rights what is called democracy okay basics in basic level it will help you in ethics okay and then chapter number 7 is pure political science okay chapter number 8 ideology gs first paper you have a particular chapter called the uh, com communism socialism liberalism like that so that will help you okay and then 9 10 is pure political science so mostly paper one section a is even if we are not taking into this ethics into account paper one section a is complete political science paper you have to read it and in our in our preparation this 10 chapters is going to take lot of our time literally half of our time once you are good in this and after that political science remaining part is literally application easily we can do it okay particularly in that also you have to know that 8 9 10 10 the chapter 8 9 10 will consume literally 30 to 40 percentage of your entire time if you are a, suppose you are allocating 100 hours for preparing psr mains i said literally 50 percentage is required to complete the 10 percentage um, 10 chapters in that 30 to 40 percentage it is required for 8 9 10 so that chapters are very lengthy chapters because full of ideas the thinking is okay so once you master of this 8 9 10 after that remaining part is just same thing only will repeat again again in other chapters and here the other areas just you have to apply that's all okay so uh, in paper 1 directly something is going to help in a gs main chapter number 8 only paper 1 section a paper 1 section b the entire 11 chapters i am telling it is going to helpful for our gs okay so first indian nationalism the modern india part this will be helpful for your gs1 and then chapter 2 to uh, 7 this is your polity the indian constitution lakshmi kant book is stuff is there no but here we will be applying that also but the content is same only okay so in fact uh, in gs only you have tough questions in psir easy questions only will be there okay questions will be direct easy only okay so we won't find any difficulty in handling this uh questions on that okay and then chapter number 9 and 11 uh, in gs first part in uh, i mean uh, for sociology some uh, uh, that means social um, in uh, gs uh, first, first paper the indian society uh, like that certain chapters are there for that it will be useful caste religion ethnicity and then other social moment and then again chapter number 10 again gs2 uh, in polity part it will be helpful so paper 1 section b completely you have to note that it's a gs gs only even you don't like political science you you are afraid of this chapters means okay even you you take chinese this chapters will run behind you only okay it will chase you you have to read it you have no other choice all students have to read this but in uh, in political science you have to note that we, this is our 25 percentage of our syllabus itself so this is the biggest advantage we are having the polity part polity Uh, the yellow shaded uh, portions are the polity indian constitution part the green one is the the politics side indian politics side okay there are things what we read in newspaper uh, so all these things will come okay <coughs> okay and then and then paper 2 paper 2 in uh, section a we have 11 chapters the 1 2 3 5 6 is purely international relation theories okay so that you will be reading it only for political science <coughs> that <clears throat> may not be useful for your gs but again in chapter number 5 and 6 is there this is the core idea uh, behind the bilateral relation part in uh, gs paper 2 bilateral relation is there whenever you are writing an uh, that uh, answers you want your answers to be uh, that means what is a uh, better than other people means you should know these two concepts 5 uh, and 6 uh, approaches to the study of international relation and key concepts in international relation once you know this basic idea and then uh, while while uh, you will be writing about say for example prime minister modi 
uh, now uh, he is in France, so he is having some interaction. Earlier he was in US. Earlier he uh, he called um, uh, the Russian Putin. Okay. So once you uh, once you know all these ideas, key terms, means so you apply the key term, and then based on this idea only this is happening. Like the two means you will get the maximum marks. So these are all the basics, the five and six, and then seventh chapter is the modern um, world history, and then eighth chapter. Uh, in GS2 also it will come, GS3 also it will come. It is international economics. The IMF, World Bank, WTO, the Britain would in other uh, Britain would institutions, okay, the new international economic order, so those chapters. Okay, and 9 and 10 and all GS2 papers only, United Nation, uh, this is international organization, this part. And then chapter number 11, you have to note that uh, all the topics which is come under chapter number 11 will be useful for your essay. Essay topics. It, the questions that means the chapters will be general like justice, women empowerment, uh, and then uh, terrorism like that. Open, open topic, open-ended topics will be there. How this is affecting the world today? Like that, uh, here we will be reading. In G essay, you have to note that they may give you a theme on that, and then they may ask you to write it. Okay, so that, that means you will be doing all the fu fundamental works. Okay, the basics here, and then paper two, section B. You have to note that the eight chapters we are having. All are bilateral relation. All is going to GS2. Literally, you have to note that we have three GS paper. In GS2, the entire syllabus we are covering. The bilateral part and the polity part. The GS2. Okay. And then in GS1, uh, society part we will be covering. The ideology part we will be covering. And then Indian uh, nationalism, that is the Indian freedom movement. The modern India part also we will cover. So, GS1 also three areas will be covered. Modern India, the ideology part, and then society part. Okay, and then in uh, 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 paper three, it is economics, uh, science and technology, and internal security. Internal security, we will be reading along with the bilateral relation again. Okay, so China, Myanmar, when we discuss all these things, so same thing because of these people only we are getting some internal security problems. So the most of the areas we will cover. Okay, the economic part only we are we are not going to cover science and tech. In economy part also, international economy we are covering. Okay. So, and then in ethics, again I said, four chapters are there. We will be, we will be reading in depth about the concepts. What is justice? What is equality? What is rights and what is democracy? So, once you know what is the real idea, because many people, what they will do is, if they say what is called right, what is called equality means, they will say in only one angle. Okay. So, we here we will be reading the different perspectives of different group of people. The rich, poor, the people in who are in between, the noble people, that means the rich, the rich means the ultra rich, the kings, and nobles, etc. How they see this equality. So once you know all these things, after that coming to a conclusion will be a little easier. Okay, so uh, when they are giving themes in uh, essay, ethics, wherever it is, easily we can, we can come to an uh, idea. You can finally bring out your own opinion. Once you see, without knowing what other people, how other people see about this particular issue, how come you come to a conclusion? You can't come to a conclusion. I have an idea about a particular thing. But uh, you, uh, because I have an idea, that doesn't mean that I should prescribe that idea. Because, uh, because tomorrow you are going to be responsible for all the people who are living in a particular district. So whatever idea you are, you are telling, it should not be completely pro-poor. But actually it should be pro-poor, yes. But not completely pro-poor. So issues are there. Not completely pro-rich. Or I will not take care of anybody, I will be common, that is also wrong. So like the different uh, stakes are there, different stands are there. So that you can take it only when you know all these ideas. Okay, you can understand. So out of the 40 chapters, for political in sake of how many chapters we are going to read, means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 chapters. Uh, even you take this uh, ethics means 15 chapters. So out of the 40 chapters, 15 chapters only, you, we will be uh, concentrating on the concept, the core ideas. Remaining chapters, you have to note that will be GS only, purely GS only. Okay. So, uh, so the content is same, but uh, depending upon the question, you have to answer. That's the only thing. Okay. So here we will be reading lot of things. All these things you can't dump it in GS. Yes, and all what they are asking directly write the question and then go to the next question. Like that it will be there. But here we have to write in uh, expert level. That we can do it. Okay. I, 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 will, uh, I will come to you. Okay. Have any questions? Yes. 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 Yes.
Ah, so, no, no. So, the thing is, we have four GS subjects. So, this fourth GS4, this chapters will be helpful. GS1 means this green shaded uh, topics will be helpful. GS2 means GS1, this is GS2 means the yellow shade. If you have not shaded means that is purely for political science. Just to, to differentiate, I am doing like this. You can understand. So, these chapters you will be reading it only for political science. That is not going to help you in, uh, in your GS. But chapter number 3 to 6, GS4, ethics paper. Chapter number 8, GS first. And then section B, chapter number 1, GS first. 9, 11 also, GS first. The yellow shaded, uh, that means topics for GS2. Again, same thing. Yellow shaded topics mean GS2. This is GS3. And then this is again yellow shaded, they again GS2. Okay. So, I will, sh I will share this. You will get a better idea later. <coughs> okay. Okay. And then, and then you see, that means, uh, uh, that means just, uh, see, we have uh, approximately 40 chapters. Out of the 40, cha 40 chapters, 62 percentage of the chapters are GS only. Okay. And then, uh, 25 percentage is core PSAR. That means core subject, the 15 chapters I said, no? And another 12 percentage, essay, it will be helpful for your essay in ethics. Uh, that means if you take this together as a core area, means literally two third, two third of the total subject is GS only. So this is the best part in our PSA. So if you are taking literature, means for example, that means in literature also again same number of 40 chapters will be there. And apart from that, this uh, these chapters are there, no? This 25 chapters, you have to read it. You have no other option for, because you have to write GS paper, no? So you have no other choice. Okay, so what is meant for GS? It is also meant for PSIR. Okay, so so we can you will you will save a lot of time. You will know this only when, after the preliminary, while preparing for mains examination. Current affairs means uh, that means um, GS means all you have to prepare is current affairs only uh, after preliminary. Okay, so so approximately don't take this uh, in the face face value. Just so Indian polity is there. So, in, for preliminary also, this will help. So, 15 to 20 questions, around minimum 15 questions. Mains also, uh, main exam also, it will come. And then bilateral relation, 3 to 5 questions will come in preliminary. And 75 marks for mains. Okay. And modern India, 8 to 12 questions. And then here 50. International organization, 5 to 8 questions. 20 marks will come. International economy, 2 to 4 questions. Here 15. Ideology, mains, 10. So, approximately, if you take mains, you take the lower value mains, approximately 30 questions. 25 to 30 questions you can expect from PSAR subject for preliminary. It is going to help you. Don't think that uh, because I am a PSAR student, I can strike all these questions. No, not like that. I never said like anything like that. Okay. See, you, you have to work hard. Okay. Preliminary means in preliminary angle, you have to prepare. So what I am telling is the subject is common. The content is common. Okay. So, once you know that particular idea, you can, we can have some advantage over other students. So, preliminary maximum... Uh, 40 to 45 percentage only they are asking to clear. 45, if you take 45 percentage means 25 percentage in our subject uh, PSAR while preparing PSAR itself we can cover. Mains also if you take mains 25 uh, approximately 250 to 300 marks. Okay. So, out of the 4 GS paper excluding ethics I am telling. Excluding ethics uh, essay. 3 GS paper means 750 marks. In 750 minimum to more than 250 marks uh, our subject only. Okay. So, this is uh, an advantage. <coughs> Are you clear with this? Okay. So, now uh, what we will do is just I will tell you how the subject will be there, what all the chapters we will be reading. Okay. I am not going to uh, discuss anything in detail. Just I will tell you what all the things you will be reading. So, paper 1 section A, you have the political theory. What is political political science? What is called political theory? See, first you tell me what is politics? Just to one, one question because you are, you are now a political science student. We are all disciples of Aristotle and Plato. Okay. So, now um, what is politics? What do you mean by politics actually? What do you think? See, whenever the word politics comes means in front of us, when you hear this, what do you think about what is that politics is all about? Yes? Yes, little louder. Ah, legislature, legislature, executive, okay, that is about all, what are, what is, what you are talking is all about passing the laws, 
for the people who are going to pass the law, how the law will be passed, parliament, MLA, MPs, okay. So, political science is about that, but what is the, what is the purpose, what is political science, what is politics, I am asking, politics, what do you mean by politics? Because people, many people, including myself earlier, politics means, I had a meaning, this is what politics is all about, which was completely wrong, so that, that is why I am asking, what is politics? What do you mean by politics? Administration, that means, uh, to regulate something, okay, we can take it, but we can uh, give an exact answer, okay. Yes, what is politics? See, what is, um, um, for, for example, um, biology means, what is about biology? Biology is about uh, studying about the living beings, okay, zoology means animals, botany means plants. Like that I am asking, politics means it is, it deals with what, that is what I am asking, very simple, yes, it deals with the people, okay, we can take it, okay, what people, biology also deals with the people, zoology, people's way of living, so that is sociology, yes, the political system, why you need that, yes, one minute, yes, how government is uh, running, how government is governing us, government governs, how it governs on the people, okay, we can take it, but, but not that, the ultimate, what is politics means, for example, in our home, I am telling, just, just I am talking in a very layman manner, okay, so we will be having a function in our family, <coughs> uh, suddenly one uncle will come, so there will be a, one a siren will go, so that uncle is coming, be careful, be careful, like that, in every family this happens, okay, he will do politics. <coughs> He is a dangerous guy, if he comes means he will create a problem, he is a dangerous guy, so be careful, uh, that means careful with your words, like that one siren will go, somebody will say, so he is coming, so be careful, that aunt is coming, be careful, okay, so in, in my family people are like this, okay, one aunt is there, if she comes means definitely at the end of the day, a severe problem will be there, all will be fighting with each other, including myself within our own family, we will be fighting with each other, we know very well that if she comes means problem will come, but we know that and we are very clear that we have to avoid that. But she will come and she will do her duty and then she will go away. Okay. See, politics means it is not about creating problem. People think that politics means creating problem. No, it is not creating problem. Politics means it is about solving the problem. So that you have to keep it in mind. It is about solving the problem. There is some problem is there. In the society, the people, people are having problems, the way people, how they have to handle this. For that one mechanism is there, no? Some, uh, some, uh, uh, some, 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 uh, some kind of uh, uh, institution has to be developed. Some kind of policies have to be taken. So, solving the problems of the society is politics, not creating a problem. But, but I am telling you again, sometimes, sometimes creating a problem is a way of solving the problem. So, you are going to a meeting for Kaveri river water, you have, in, uh, so they are sending you on behalf of Tamil Nadu to, uh, they are asking you to get back uh, um, by getting our share of water from Karnataka. The meeting is there, the meeting is going everything against us. You are the representative of Tamil Nadu. What do you have to do? Create some problem and then come back, buy time and then come back, that's all. Create a problem in that meeting. Meeting means not violence, no. Raise some issues, do some uh, tactics and then make the people uh, not to take any hasty decision. Because things are going against us, create a problem, put a knot and then come back. And then later we can regroup and then we can uh, uh, think about that and then we can go with the new strategy. So sometimes creating problem is also a way of solving the problem. But we stick to that only. Politics means it is creating problem. It is not about creating problem. So all these things, how to approach this, how to approach the issues, how to give a solution, all these things we will be reading it in chapter 1. And chapter number 2, theories of state. The first two chapters are pure uh, PSAR. Theories of state. Theories of state means how different different group of people want the state and government should be. How the government should do. What the government should do. What government should not do. What they are expecting from the government. What they think about the government. So those chapters. And chapter number three, like I said, this is going to help you for your in, in syllabus. You can write it in the side. Okay. So chapter number three, this is going to help you for your ethics. What is called justice. And then we will be specifically reading about a particular person named John Rawls. 
Okay, so, uh, uh, so sometimes these thinkers' ideas may be acceptable or may not be acceptable to us, including for myself. Okay, but what I am telling is read as it is. Why he said that? We will we evaluate later. How come he say like this? Like that, all you should not say. See, for example, today we have computers, laptop computers, handheld computers, and all are there. But you go to the number one computer, that means the comp the first computer it was built means it was this room size. And even to start that particular computer, they have to boot it. Boot it means kick it with the boot. That's why booting the computer, that term came. Everybody knows this. So, to start that computer, you have to go and kick that particular computer. Okay, boot it. So, now you should not, uh, now uh, sitting in 2023, you should not say, that, see, what is that? Like that and all, you should not say. Because on that particular day, that idea is a very great idea. Something calculates, something manipulates the number means it is completely a different idea. Today it may be easy, the artificial intelligence is coming, okay, already it is there, okay, so now you have to note that if you ask anything, it is giving the answer, okay, so you should not uh, tease the, uh, the, 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 what is it, the old idea, okay, the primitive idea, primitive, it may be primitive, but on that particular day, first time you are, you are, you are, you are, you are introducing something, that is great, like that many of the ideas will be like that, but still what we can do is, the greatness of the idea you can understand only when you stick to that particular age. On that particular day, things were like this. That's why this guy was telling something. Some problem was there. Solving the problem is polity. So this guy said this particular idea. So you fix that in, in that particular context means we can understand. Oh, this is the issue. Okay. And then chapter number four, equality. Social, political, economic equality. Relationship between equality and freedom. Okay. So this is helpful again for ethics. And then rights. The different theories of rights, the different kinds of rights, and concept of human rights. Ethics again. And then democracy, classical contemporary theories, different models, the representative, participative, deliberative, the three type of models which is mentioned in our syllabus. So, 3, 4, 5, 6 is for ethics. And chapter number 7, what is the uh, idea behind the concept called power? What is called hegemony? Ideology. It needs a one, one full class. Okay. So these things, uh, pure political science. And chapter number 8, uh, political ideologies. So this is the core of political science. What is liberalism, what is socialism, Marxism, fascism, Gandhism, feminism, the different isms, that means different group of people who have a set of, ism means a set of ideas. Okay, how they view about each and every issue, what they demand, what they want, what they don't want. So all these things we have to discuss. And then Indian political thought, the Indian thinkers, the ancient thinkers, uh, Dharma Shastra, Artha Shastra, Buddhist tradition, and then modern uh, thinkers, Sir Saida Ahmed Khan, Arbindo, Gandhi, Ambedkar Roy, from all fields, okay. So this is Muslim political thought, Hindu political thought, Gandhism for the downtrodden and uh, the communist Marxist and anti-Marxism, okay. And, and finally, chapter number 10, uh, Western political thought. So this is the major, 8 and 10 is the major chapter in our entire syllabus, the different thinkers. So we have two ancient thinkers, that means who lived 2000 years before, B.C., Plato and Aristotle. He belongs to 1500, Machiavelli. And then these people are modern people, okay. Hobbes, Locke, Mill, and Marx, and Gramsci. And Arendt is ultra-modern, that means 1950, okay. So it needs a full class is required for every, for, see, for these chapters, one chapter, one day we can take it. But here, 8, 9, 10, and all, one topic, one day it will require. One full class is required. Okay, so the 8 and 10 is the core one. If you Once you are master in that means, after that you are on your own, literally. Okay, and then paper 1, section B. The Indian government and policy, that is the section A, we read about the different ideas of different people, different concepts. Now we will be reading about how this has been applied in India. First, Indian nationalism, the modern India part. In modern India part, the different political strategies and perspectives of the different people. This is completely new. Okay, that we will be reading. So, this part uh, in uh, GS itself they will handle. But this part we will be discussing in PSAR. And then making of Indian constitution, salient features of Indian constitution, the principal organs of union government and state government, uh, Panchayat Raj institution, grassroots democracy, the different commissions and the center state relation. All these things are literally the Lakshmi Kant book plus the newspaper if you handle means we can handle this. Uh, completely it is a GS part only. And then planning. Planning and economic development, the five-year plan, in that in economic class they will discuss in GS again. So in NCRD books, 11th standard book, Indian economy book, this is there. So Gandhi, how Gandhi, Nehru, uh, and then liberalization, 
land reforms, etc., all these things. And then, so this uh, eight chapters is GS, GS2. Chapter number one is GS1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is GS2. 8 is also GS3 it will come actually. Okay, so basics. 9 and 11, GS2 again. Chapter number 10, political science only. So 9 is caste, religion, ethnicity will be reading and then uh, party system. How Indian political parties work, or the Indian politics. So Maharashtra thinks the defection is happening, uh, BJP, uh, Congress, DMK, DMK, like that we will be discussing. So that is a particular chapter, easy, very easy. And then the different types of social movements, that is all. This is paper 1. And paper 2, we have first 11 chapters in section A, comparative politics, state in comparative perspective, politics of representation, these three chapters are core paper, uh, PSER chapters. And mostly chapter number 1 in paper 2 and chapter number 1 in paper 1 are literally same, literally same, not exactly, but more or less same only. Like the chapter number 2, what is chapter number uh, 2 in paper 1 section A? Theories of state. Here, state in comparative perspective, that's all. Same, same idea only. Nothing, uh, no big change is there. So, within the subject itself, it is overlapping. Paper 1, paper 2, overlapping is there. And then politics of representation, that is, the different political parties, etc. are there. And then globalization, this is GS3, uh, it will help you. Definitely one question will be there in uh, GS3. And then 5, 6 are the core chapters in PSAR, paper 2 the different uh, uh, approaches, that is uh, the, the theories of international relations. So this chapter is going to take lot of time, chapter number 5. Every uh, topic will take one class. This is a very big topic. Six and all different concepts, the terms which is involved in international relations. What is national security, national interest, security, power, balance of power, deterrence, the transnational actors, collective security, world capitalist economy and globalization. So, these are all general topics only. Easily we can handle. One day we can handle this. So, this chapter, chapter number 5 is the core chapter. You need help. Without that it will be difficult. And chapter number 7 is modern, uh, that means uh, uh, world history in GS they will cover, no? What happened after the world war, the cold war era. So, rise of the superpowers, non-aligned movement, collapse of Soviet Union, the unipolarity, bipolarity, multipolarity, that concepts. Okay, it's very interesting. We easily we can handle. And and so this is coming in GS1. And chapter number eight, the international economic system. Britain votes to WTO, the socialistic economies, and then the CMEA, the the economic uh, demand of the second world countries that we will discuss. And then third world countries economic demand, that is new international economic or globalization. This is going to help you in GS3 in economics, international economics. And the United Nations, United Nations paper 2, uh, envisage role, actual role, the different agencies need for reforms. Same question will again and again will repeat, easily we can score it. And then the regionalization of world politics, the international organization part. Even only five, five only is listed, you should, uh, you should read all the organizations. BRICS, ASCO, G20, everything you have to read it. The international organization separate subject is there for preliminary. So that chapters, after knowing what is that particular organization is about, if it is coming in news means, you have to note it. Newspaper reading we can cover. And then this is the chapter which I said which will helpful for your essay. Democracy, human rights, environment, gender justice, terrorism, nuclear proliferation, etc. So all open-ended topics only. And then this part is the bilateral part. So again, in GS, I am going to handle this. So Indian foreign policy, non-alignment movement, India and South Asia, India and the global South, that is Africa, Latin America and Asia, and then India and the power centers, the five big powers of the world, and India in UN, India in the nuclear question, and then latest even. But the thing is, mostly 95 percentage, you have to read the newspaper based on that only questions will come. So these are all the this is the subject, entire subject you have. And another important thing which I forgot to tell you is, in this, this season I am telling, so, so there will be certain seasons will be there, no? So nowadays, the entire UPSC examination, preliminary, mains, etc. is going very, very dynamic. Very, very, preliminary also last time was tough. Mains also very dynamic. And note that, since among the optional subject, which is the most dynamic subject, PSAR only. Maybe because of this or any other reason, I don't know. The last five to six years, 
PSAR dominates the final result. Okay. So, approximately 1000 people are there, means minimum I am telling 200 to 250 students are from PSAR only. Final result, not the people who are taking most number of subjects uh, before preliminary. That is, other subjects are there. Hindi literature is there. Uh, geography like that, other subjects are there. Okay. But PSAR, find the people who finally clear in the list I am telling. If you take them, what option they have taken, means? 25 percentage minimum I am telling, minimum, minimum 25 percentage is from PSA, including last time top also from PSA. So why, why this uh, trend is there, it's very simple, UPSC is going very dynamic. So if, since UPSC examination is going very dynamic, the most dynamic subject we have in the optional list is our subject only. Okay, so these people have reaped the bonus, the benefits, that's why they are in the list. So if you can reap the benefit means of PSA, means easily you can get through. And again, I am telling this PSAR is going to helpful for your preliminary means I have shown how much marks approximately it will. Not only that, this examination, this paper I am telling is going to help you in your interview also. In interview, most probably you will be having some 40 minutes interview, one to one interview. Okay, one to one means you will be there and the panel will be there. And based on the trend, uh, you have to note that if they have open international relation issue means approximately in an average, out of the 40 minutes, 25 minutes will be in international relation only, the questions. They will be asking a question, the student will re respond, the aspirant, and based on his answer, again another question will be there. So the, the, the one question and the chain of questions, the supplementary questions, up to half of your interview time will be with respect to um, bilateral relation only. Bilateral relation means international relation. And the, and the people, are, are not, not for all students, okay, majority of the students will get like this. If half of the time in your interview you are spending in international relations, most probably you will be one of the topper in the interview marks, in the interview marks center. These people top the chart and then they are, they are getting the job, okay. So we have advantage, that's what I am telling, advantage is there, but that advantage you have to reap it. You are not taking the bonus in a video game, means what will happen, nothing is going to happen. You lose the power like that. So, so what I am telling is, these are all our advantages. So, we have to reap this. So, this is how our subject is there. So, for uh, two papers, paper A, paper B. I mean, paper 1, paper 2. Paper 1, two sections. Section A is the political theory. The theories we will be reading. Paper 1, section A. Paper 1, section B the Indian government and politics, how the theory is applied in Indian context, that is section B. Paper 2 is international relation theory A. Section B is the bilateral relation in, in, in the international affairs, the application of the theory in between the countries. So, section A is the content, the concept, section B is the application part in both the papers. Political theory, political theory application in India. International relation theory and international uh, theories application in the international affairs. That's all. Okay. So now we will come to the, the next uh, part. That means, um, so this two is over. Now the subject introduction is also over. Now we have to discuss what you can expect from the class. How our classes will be. So that schedule is important. Okay. See, number one, our classes will be in weekend only. Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 1.30. So this is our time. Weekend only. Why? So earlier I had it on weekdays, Monday to Friday. And I found that uh, students are, are attending uh, GS classes. Most, most of the students, 95 percentage are GS students only here. So what happens is these people attend sometimes two classes per day. Two classes means it is very hectic. Yes, it is hectic, hectic only. After that again I am asking you to come by 5.30 in the evening means it will be very difficult. And people keep on attending the class. So two days they will take rest. Again Monday they will come. And the people are also not following GS and not following political science also. So, so for that purpose, what I have done is I have moved that uh, weekend, weekdays class into weekend class. But the thing is, all seven days you will, you will be having class. That's the only way. Okay, but comfortably five days uh, GS, two days option, like that you have to do. But in the final, in the preparation time allocation, you have to note that you have to give more time for option than GS. Okay, well, uh, the strategy part, while we discuss that, I will tell you. Okay, so classes will be weekend class, Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 1.30, okay, 1. And number 2, the classes and all, you have to note that it will not be in expert level, 
it will be beginner level only okay beginner level means the class will be very simple simple ideas only i will give okay so that means the point is very simple if you go home if you take the uh, books and then the class what we discuss means with that you can manage so like that only i am doing so this is uh, just i am helping you so that you can help yourself that's all so this is the uh, this is my strategy here because uh, in other classes uh, and uh, from the feedback from other students uh, earlier i found that people attend political science class in other areas classes will be good yes but at the end of the class what to do with that people are blank so the point is uh, my idea is see you you have to prepare yourself that is my advice actual advice is but it will take time and diversion also will be there you will be going very deep somewhere to avoid that you just have the class after attending the class what you do is you read the class notes class notes also i will dictate dictate means while explanation dicta dictation will be there quickly you have to write so with that you will get the entire idea the basics is over see you know for building a 100 story building what is more important 100 stories are the foundation foundation once you have the good foundation after the building is very easy in a day you can rise one 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 floor it's not a problem once the foundation is strong foundation is strong means after that you don't need anybody you can look after yourself okay so in and but building uh, the different floor that means number of floor, floors is easy but putting a strong foundation it needs patience slow and steadily only class will be there i won't rush rush means in the sense sometimes you need more, that means more concentration that means I, i have to explain more so that i will go slow sometimes some uh, for example certain areas will be there it will be very easy that i will go little faster like that depending upon the content i will increase the pace or or, or decrease it okay the fast will be based on the content of the subject so certain subjects uh, certain topics will be little complicated complicated means just to, that means it is something like a lock once you have the key means a lock will open okay so there i will go little slow once you get the tag line the under that means what is this after the things will be easy remaining things are easy so again i am telling put the foundation very strong remaining things are easy but people will be worried you see now only we are putting foundation the next guy already he has gone 10 stories means no that building is going to fall down that is the understanding okay so foundation means it will take time slowly build up once you build up means after that in rocket first you can go no problem okay so uh, other subjects and quickly they will do it okay no need to go in rush slowly but steadily we will go okay so and uh, uh, while completing a particular chapter you have to have an understanding that okay i am good in that once you get that particular confidence means remaining things are easy like this you have to do other things so this is my strategy okay simple class notes also will be given materials you have to note that so old materials are there but uh, again i am preparing for this uh, this this term so what i am going to do is i am going to give you in a, a, a handouts only not in a form of book book means what people do i know one guy earlier he kept it as a pillow okay put a towel over that and then you are sleeping on that okay not like that okay so daily uh, what we what you attend the class the particular topic i will give you class notes read the class notes and then read the given material once you compile all the material means it will become a book okay so this time book format material is not there handouts i will give you for all static parts dynamic parts and all you have to note that we can't give notes you have to get it from the newspaper only that means for section a only the static part only we can give notes that means materials section b dynamic part okay so for handling the dynamic part one of the idea is so i will also coming for gs also so i have a channel a telegram channel where i am updating the uh, newspapers and then the important things which is important for international relation plus polity just uh, follow that okay so we will uh, while, while going in the class we will handle all these things so it's not an issue okay and then in the class also sometimes what we will do we, we can have some debate like uh, sessions so for example contrasting ideas will be there okay only when you can debate then only you can understand the particular topic properly see today i am telling you one idea so sir our sir only said this so what he say should be correct only like that you are taking it means this idea may not be a correct idea this is the core of political science i am telling if i am saying something crow is white in color means everybody should not believe that so because sir said it, crow is white in color or parrot is white i will say parrot is white in color so it should be immediately opposed so you should say that no sir parrot is black in color 
and finally we will find a truth that the parrot will be somewhere in between white and black it's a green in color general general parrot i am telling okay so like that only the ideas have to be debated okay not all classes will be a debate so i will give you a list of uh, topics okay so before so for example next week uh, we are having a class but this week itself i will tell you in which a area we can debate once we discuss that idea after that we will have a debate which is correct which is not correct liberalism socialism feminism anti feminism like that groups are there no so different different groups are there let us have a debate okay so uh, debate means not a full session okay so a part okay we, uh, so the main things we can uh, discuss i will moderate okay so which i will uh, talk on both the sides and then i will moderate and finally it is up to you people to take which side it is good so two contrasting stands are there in many, many uh, ideas so for that we will have a debate like session if you have the debate like session means uh, you will get the clarity concept clarity okay and then and then uh, while taking the subjects uh, i am not going to take in a linear format okay i will go that means that means if you, for example uh, people will buy political science book and then they will take chapter number 1 political theory meaning and approaches anybody read that uh, chapter means i will tell you immediately they will quit the subject like that that topic is there okay what is political theory meaning and approach raw theory even i i find headache sometimes okay so that is not required okay so actually we have to go for the application part okay so what i'll do is i will enter into the subject in 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 one particular way i will go in a, in one lane just you follow that without any hiccups without any problem easily we can cover the entire subject that means see for example before reading the 10th standard book you have to read the 9th standard book before that 8th 9th like that like that it is there no one format is there no i am not going by the linear format okay so maybe i i will start with the chapter number 10 the ancient thinkers then in between again i will come to chapter number 8 and then i will complete the remaining chapter number 8 and then i will come for chapter number 1 like that okay so this is my idea my my uh, for practical purpose okay so you won't feel any difficulty so if you go in a linear format means it because theories of state is chapter number 2 without knowing the different uh, political ideology you are going for theories of state means what is how come how come you can understand liberalism uh, neo liberalism marxism without understanding the political ideology the subject li line up is like this in the syllabus okay so we will not go according to 1 2 3 we will go according to our own convenience okay so you will feel uh, comfortable okay and then in, again the chapters i am telling i will divide the chapters into three parts actually literally um, um one part that means uh, uh, list 1 list 2 list 3 among the chapters 40 chapters list 1 is the first 15 chapters i said no which 100% you need support i will completely i will back up back, back up okay i will take complete responsibility for that 15 chapters only people are here in this class i will tell you definitely because otherwise other chapters and all you can manage by yourself literally list number so 15 out of 40 chapters around some 15 chapters core area i have to go slowly i will take 100% responsibility it is my responsibility don't think that other chapters are not my respond no not like that this is for this part only you are here okay this is the purpose of the class the second list to you have to note that uh, that means i will give 50 percentage input because most of the things you will get it from gs class for example polity part is there polity they will be taking around 30 to 40 classes there okay so majority of the things you will get there itself so in psr what is required for psr that part only i will handle for bilateral relation bilateral relation also i, I myself is handling okay same thing uh, no need to uh, repeat here in psr so here what is required for psr that part only we will deal the basics of bilateral relation the basics of polity and all i am not going to take it the application part directly i will go third area for example certain fringe areas are there that you have to take care just i will help you that's all help you uh, if you ask some help means i can i can help you some five six chapters will be like that so where you need more help i am going to 100% back up you why why i am telling this because the area where you need more help we will have more time on that we can spend more time on that for that purpose instead of four sections are there 25 25 25 like that instead of splitting like that our time the area where you need more help i am going to take more that. where you need less help i am going to take less help less time only so like this so so, uh, so that, that, i think this is for, but marks wise all four chapters means equal only but you need certain help there i will be available i will we will take more time 
ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंटेज ऑफ द सिलेबस आई विल टेक फिफ्टी परसेंटेज फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव और इवन सिक्सटी परसेंटेज ऑफ द टाइम आई विल टेक इट ऑन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ द सिलेबस रिमेनिंग सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ द सिलेबस रिमेनिंग फोर्टी परसेंट लाइक दैट ओनली दैट इज वॉट दैट इज कॉल्ड जस्ट आई थिंक इंस्टेड ऑफ डिस्कसिंग वॉट आर द रिफॉर्म्स इन यूनाइटेड नेशन फॉर दट डू नीड अंटर क्लास वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एजेंसीज ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन डू यू नीड अंटर क्लास फॉर दट जस्ट आई विल अपडेट अपडेट्स ओनली विल बी अवेल okay so you need more help means there we will have enough time slow and steadily we will go so this is my strategy <coughs> and coming to the test part test part you have to note that see last time <coughs> we had lot of test for the students students have uh, got uh, written that and then they got benefit so now you have to note in the last page you have the test sheet okay last sheet <coughs> so we have that test schedule so mostly in this uh, um, way only we will be completing the entire syllabus first cha the chapter number 10 plato aristotle machiavelli then <coughs> ideology then remaining part of like that so after completing a particular uh, area based on this particular uh, chart we will have a test test also will be on the same day of the class okay instead of having the test on monday to friday or sometimes what you do is you come little earlier okay depending upon how far we are going because uh, let's not waste the class time also no so 9 o'clock test means test maximum will be one hour test only because i'm if i'm keeping big test means people are not writing people are unable to complete it and then they doesn't have the confidence so my idea is slowly steadily you have to improve okay so all together i have split the syllabus into 14 14 uh, <coughs> sections So fourteen test you will be having, and after fourteen test you will have section wise test. Paper one section A, paper one section B, paper two section A, paper two section B, and then you have the full test. So this is this is the test which is available along with your course. Okay. Okay, but again you see, for completing the first uh, to keep the first test number one. it will take literally 3 th uh, three, three weeks minimum 3 weeks 6 days is required because six topics are there approximately six days is required so until six uh, weeks you have to, uh, three weeks means six uh, classes every week we have two classes so three weeks is required so literally you have to note that we, uh, no need to wait for the three weeks to write the test so my idea is for the people who are coming here to the class uh, what we can do is we can we can also go a uh, mini test mini test means one question per day like that online students i may not be able to do that because it will be difficult to correct the answers online okay the people who are here i will give questions so i am framing one particular uh, one one uh, a set of questions okay so what i am telling is see every if we say every two weeks we have this test means approximately we have means so in between that uh, uh, two weeks you have two weeks okay and then mean 14 days or that Or at least we can write some ten questions, <coughs> one question per day, leaving four days. Leave four days, ten ten questions, ten days. You are writing means you will get used to write answers well. On the day of writing this test, you will be uh, you will be in line, you will be in the track. So this is my idea, but this test will be available only for the students who are coming here. This test is as per schedule. Okay, this is for everybody. but if you want means because people sometimes will find difficulty in one stretch how to read six chapters like that if people feel means they can write mini test that means one question per day for bilateral class i will be available here you can come and meet me or we can allocate a separate person to correct that also so that depends upon how things are working so this time only i am doing it because last time when i keeping in the testament last time also like that i kept test first test uh, 80% attendance were there Out of the eighty percent, fifty percent is wrote it. Remaining thirty percent just they did not write anything. Sat in the class and then went away. And after that, slowly what happened is people began to number of people who are writing the test was coming down. Why means because people were not able to complete this this chapters for the particular test. Uh, test number seven means four chapters you have to complete. People are not completing it. So for that purpose only I am telling. <coughs> so in between the test also we can meet. I will be here. for bilateral daily mostly mostly daily i will be here okay so uh, you can come and then we can uh, and and then sometimes uh, um, people will write answers but the answers will not be up to the mark 
So how to write a good answer means for that and all daily you have to practice. Then only on the day of the examination we will be ready to write anything. Okay, for make, uh, making you the answer writing easy, I am telling. So what we will do is we will give more importance to answer writing. Okay, so no other subject here they are going to handle like this or anywhere in India they are not going to. So here we, are, so this is the 20 uh, test is there. Apart from the 20 test, we can also have micro test. Okay, and on the day of the class also, you bring paper. Suddenly, most probably in all days, I am telling Saturday, Sunday when we have class, I will write you, write, uh, ask you to write the answer in the class itself. After teaching a particular concept, to check whether you are in line with that concept. Immediately, I will ask you to write the test. Okay, so that itself, you write it and then I will check it whether you understand that idea or not. So that test is also there, daily one, one question. So daily one question is good. The, why means because, see, 10 questions you are coming and uh, giving me, I am evaluating means all the 10 questions will be in one particular format, may not be the correct format. So what I am telling is, if I come with question number 1 and then uh, get the feedback, then you apply that particular idea in question number 2 and then write the answer for question number 2, you again come to me, get the feedback. Like that if you do for some 10 questions means, then only you will come in line for if they are asking like this means how to write the answer. So that part. So that also I will help you. Okay, this is extra, completely extra work for me. But that depends upon how much uh, you are interested. Okay, if you are interested means I am ready to work with you. You do it. Okay, so this part we will do it. Okay, answer writing practice is very, very important. So in test for this 20 uh, test, uh, orientation also will be there. So for example, uh, test number one will be there in the third or fourth week months. So one week before that, I will, I will just will discuss the questions. Okay, how questions are asked, how you have to present it, um, diagrams or then I will, uh, apart from the class discussion, answer writing discussion, we will do it, orientation. And after that, you write the test. After writing the test, you will have the question discussion also. After test, five question, ten question, you are writing means the ten question, this is the answer like that I will discuss. That part also we will do it, okay. So answer writing is very important because mains means you have to get more marks because even you know the answer, answer will not come in the paper. Even answer is coming in the paper, you have to get better than other people, you have to get more marks. So to make that uh, possible, we have to write lot of questions. You will practice more, okay. So this 20 test is for everybody. The daily answer writing, at least minimum I am telling in the duration of the class, we are, let us at least write 120 to 150 questions throughout the entire uh, um, course I am telling. So mostly the class will be over, everything will be wound up by January. So that after that, uh, you can start fully your, um, you can concentrate fully on your preliminary examination. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is what I wanted to say. So anything, any doubt is there regarding the... <coughs> test. So, 20 test will be there and then the daily answer writing also we will do it. The daily answer writing is for the people who are coming here directly and attending. Okay. To encourage people to directly come here and do it only, I am doing that. Number one. Why means? Because some people think that uh, sitting somewhere in, they can uh, they can master this. Okay. Like Ekaleva. Ekaleva what he did? Without going to the teacher directly. Okay, so student, uh, only one Ekaleva was there and one Drona only was there. I am also not Drona. Okay, so what I am telling is very simple. You should come to me directly, write the answer. See, you are, you are asking me, see, if you are just, uh, see, you wanted to cross the sea. You are just sitting in the beach and then wandering and then reading books, PhD, how to cross the sea, like that you are doing it means, what is the use in that? First, you have to swim. If you want to swim means, what do you have to do? What is the first thing you have to do? You have to enter into the water. Can understand by by reading all books about the different strategy to swim. What is the use in that? Enter into the water first. Drink the water first. Okay, first time you are swimming means what people will do? People will drink the water. Let, do it. Then only you will know how to handle it. So then only I also will know in which position you are, what to do, what not to do. So always when when you are asking me suggestion, come with something. Okay, sir, question is like this. I have answered like this. Whether I am in 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 lines with the requirement like the I mean, then only we can I can evaluate 
all together you are writing all this test and coming to me and then telling that all your answers are not up to the markments what is the use in that so that's why i'm telling while writing this test at least you should be good in writing this test so to make this answers good i am asking you to participate in the the one day one answer that concept okay five weekly means five days are there five answers you write it two weeks means 10 question you leave saturday sunday you daily do it every week we are doing it means then at the end of the course these questions will be some around 100 150 questions you also will practice 100 150 questions means 300 questions will come beyond that majority of the area we will cover that's all almost all questions we will cover except the dynamic part okay so like this you can do it so this is my opinion okay for this batch only i am introducing this so depending upon how you are working i will i will i will give my input okay so this 20 is uh, uh, orientation will be there test will be there test discussion will be there evaluation feedback and all will be there but uh, daily test means one one question only you have to bring me don't write a 20 question and then bringing means correcting that will be a difficult task okay lot of students are there no it will be difficult for me to correct okay so i will delay and you will lose enthusiasm i also will feel lag okay daily one question means quickly i can correct so for correction purpose also that is easy for improving purpose also that will be better so in this question this is the demand but your answer is like this so maybe the concept will be different but the idea is same for answering a question what you have to do what you should not do so that part i will check it daily you can improve you can implement in the next question finally when you are writing this part test like this by the time you will be in line and then you can write a very good answer okay so only uh, just attending the class is not going to give you anything so the thing is you have to practice practice is very important 50 percentage gathering the knowledge means remaining 50 percentage is practice okay answer writing practice and then after preliminary all you have to do is just how to improve the answers in psar that part only you have to go by the time go don't go and study the content and all because foundation is already over building is also over all you have to do is the decorations and then present it so like that only if you are means you are for 2024 okay so lot of students uh, top students are in our um, in our paper only but number of students who are taking is less but the hit rate is more can understand so other subjects they are taking a lot of people take that subject hindi literature lot of people literally one third 40 percentage of the people take hindi literature depending upon the output if you take means psir is having the more hit rate okay and then the strategy the last part of uh, today's class the strategy you see what you do is we have to put a timetable generally i am telling how a psar student have to approach for 2024 i am telling so leave the class everything okay so you are a psar student now you have joined the class for gs and psar and 2024 you are going to write the examination so this is your aim means what you have to do is you put a timetable september 2024 is your mains examination okay you put a chart and then write that first okay something like this so put a chart like this put a chart like this okay and then write september 24 mains examination like that you prepare okay so and then you have to fill it from the back okay one month before that you you should allocate for revision and then you write the may may 26th or 27th is your preliminary examination how much mon month you are ha how much day you are having it and one month before that you allocate for revision that is the entire april like that you have to put a timetable you can understand put a timetable fill it from the back first put september 20, 20 uh, 16th uh, exam examination i think so that is your mains examination just one month before that particular examination date you have to allocate the entire month for revision consolidating and contemplating things that means this is what i know this is how question is asked how i will write the answer like that everything should be going in the imagination that that work you have to do it and then most probably you will be having uh, suppose september means uh, august august is for revision so june july only two months that means approximately 60 days only you are having it for 
mains preparation after preliminary you are writing the preliminary on may may end june july only you are having august is for revision september you will have examination 60 days only is there for mains preparation in 60 days what you can prepare just now itself you have to uh, take the main syllabus and then find out what how, how much things i can prepare in the 60 days i will tell you you can't prepare anything except the current affairs part in gs psr everything current affairs will come no you can all you can prepare is only the current affairs so that, during that time you, you are not going to read anything which is in the static part this is the point the dynamic area current affairs area only you can update the static part all you have to do is answer writing practice okay so 60 days only you are having for mains preparation and then um, may 26 you have the preliminary examination one month before the preliminary april is for revision okay so if our course is, um, is completed by january means with revision means you have to note that uh, february march or even you take uh, uh, january february march 90 days at least is required to prepare fully for preliminary uh, approximately 30 days for revision so all together 120 days is required for preliminary actually then only the first timer can clear the remaining time only is uh, is meant for that means for uh, preparing other subjects because 60 days only is there no so all the things you have to complete it by all the mains uh, uh, area in gs and also the option subjects you have to complete it by december okay january itself we have to start preparing for preliminary so you can understand then only one month you can allocate for revision and then write the preliminary examination and then two month for mains preparation current affairs one month for revision and then mains examination preliminary mains like that okay so everything you have to complete it by december okay okay so <coughs> so uh, december means now itself we have to start the preparation then only it will be easy psir as the class is going on you have to complete the chapters along with the class then only you can complete it otherwise it will be difficult gs portion also you have to note that there are certain subjects are there which is going to be very helpful for our um, psr also so those chapters you have to master it up. so earlier i shown one particular um, subjects no these subjects these subjects and all is psr subjects indian polity bilateral relation modern india international organization international economics ideologies these six chapters you have to be well versed for gs and all separate preparation is not required like that you have to complete it here itself then only you will be ready so while preparing for psar your top priority should be giving to polity part bilateral relation part modern india so this chapters complete it well remaining chapters what you can do is you can you can you can give more time after our psar that means january february march you will be preparing no by the time you can give for psar student for example geography or uh, sometimes uh, environment like that chapters are there you can emphasize on these two subjects classes will be there before itself just to go attend the class read the class notes write the class test that and all okay no need for any extra preparation extra preparation for gs to concentrate on these subjects and complete it while you are completing psar so psar at least the classes will be over by december most most probably december or january first week so by the time you be good in this is six areas and the remaining gs area you can take it after uh, while pre preparing for preliminary for while uh, preparing for preliminary you have to concentrate fully on preliminary exam and then what you have to do is what are the subjects which is uh, overlapping with uh, preliminary exam mains gs and mains psr like that you have to take it in all the three test these are all the six chapters which is overlapping preliminary Uh, and then uh, mains gs and mains option paper psr so this six chapters you have to be good then second priority have to be given to area where which overlaps preliminary and mains and third to preliminary alone like that you divide the subjects so so can understand what i am telling okay so three exams you are going to write preliminary gs mains gs and then option paper what is common to these three three uh, exams this six chapters be good in that second priority to what is common to preliminary gs and mains gs third priority to preliminary only syllabus like that for example science and technology this is not preliminary only syllabus so you give the concentration like that 
so uh, so what i am telling is while uh, we are discussing ps here regarding gs also which area you have to emphasize which area you, you can give uh, and later you can prepare that also you just come and consult with me okay so other subject people they have other priorities our priority is this in gs this is our priority then other subjects so poly departments you have to be very good in that so if you are lagging in poly departments it is a big uh, uh, that means uh, what is it a blunder okay we are good in this this is our subject if we are not good in our subject means other students are taking marks in this means then no use in taking psa okay so newspaper reading and this gs daily you have to do it this until december you concentrate on this six chapters for psa student alone plus newspaper for gs after that remaining gs paper you can take it and always prepare it mains point of view there is nothing called preliminary point of view mains point of holistically you prepare until december after december when you approach a particular subject you prepare in preliminary point of view alone okay so until december uh, daily write one question in psa daily at least one question daily monday to friday saturday sunday you are having class stick to that class monday to friday daily write one question bring it to me i will correct it or uh, uh, we will arrange some people okay if i am not available so uh, daily get corrected you will get an understanding okay this is how we have to write once you get used to those uh, answer writing after that answer writing is easy easily you can get more marks so that part we will give more importance daily answer writing that one question that is very important because once you write that then only that uh, remaining chapters and all easily you can write it otherwise it will be difficult so test your writing and not writing anything means what is the use in conducting the test write all the test uh, stick to the schedule okay don't miss the class okay so for all, uh, the people who are coming here you can also take uh, the that means online also no problem no online means in the sense today you are not able to come here uh, you are going to your house for in your home means from there itself you can lively you can see the class but what i am telling is the stored video and all don't do it okay you can't follow it you will not complete it you won't have the patience also next without uh, attending one class you are coming to the next class means problem will come okay so what i am telling is attend all the classes even you are not able to pre physically present here means link will be there you can you can if, through zoom you can attend from outside so that is that i accept the, but if some people cannot come to chennai because they are in some far away from chennai means then okay we can we can accept as a reason but being they can come here but i will uh, see it from my home it's like that people think means i am not encouraging that okay so directly come and please be in contact with me for gs also so mentorship programs are there but still what i am telling is you come to me okay so for psar student we should have a different strategy whether you are going in line we will see and if you find any difficulty in a newspaper reading also just inform me in class also we will discuss okay so classes for our four and a half hours class is there means uh, one main area i will take it at the end of the class i will split the split it into two and a half hours and uh, one hour like that last 45 minutes one hour i will take the fringe area from different topic or the topics which is discussed on that particular day in the newspaper like that we will discuss core area the 15 chapters is you no know, so completing that 15 chapter is my number one aim so that will be the main part of your that means main uh, uh, four hours means two and a half hours i will take or three hours i will take for that remaining one hour or uh, half an hour break is required after that one hour or 45 minutes we will discuss of some fringe area so the bilateral part the polity part and all i will cover like that only polity bilateral and all with your gs preparation itself you have to take care so here we will just update okay just i will add it only don't expect me to again have a bilateral relation class again from one class one so that is not required people who are not attending gs i i will make some arrangement okay so just inform me once the class has started we will make some arrangement for all the people who are attending gs don't miss the bilateral class in gs do it there here we will go according to the newspaper newspaper what issue is discussed how things are there like that we can go to the next level otherwise spending more time on the fundamentals and the foundation is not required okay so i think now i have given a, a, a picture how the entire uh, subject is there how our classes will be there okay so class lecture will be there class notes will be given handouts also will be given for all static parts 
dynamic part newspaper only we have to read newspaper clippings also i will update in a in your group okay daily check it indian express and hindu both papers you have to read it and if i find any some other good articles in netments i will attach that also okay so just uh, read it then and there you have to do it okay so and then test test 20 test is there the date i have not mentioned depending upon when we are completing if i am completing this week means next week test will be there uh, accordingly we will have it okay so flexibly we will have but all 20 test will be there date is not fixed depending upon how how far the class is going discussion is going based on that we will uh, do it but even the test order also may change no problem but all 20 test will be there test number 7 will be uh, first i will take it like that uh, that flexibility will have 80 percentage same time table only so 20 percentage we can we can have that flexibility okay sometimes uh, let us first uh, deal this and then we'll come to this chapter like that i decided means that test will postpone the other test will write it now then uh, we can after completing the syllabus we can write that test and then daily answer writing also you do it so that i i, I am very much concerned about that only because that work is going to be uh, very uh, heavy for me but still i recommend that only instead of this big test and all i am telling the daily writing test only i i i prefer because then only i will know how you are writing continuously you are writing then only i will know how you are improving where, where you are starting is not important but daily improvements at uh, after one month after one month of practice after that you will be in a very comfortable position today zero you may be in zero position may be in negative no problem some people may be good in the starting itself that also doesn't matter start you have to start where you are okay after a considerable time what you have to do you have to cross that particular mile so once you cross that mile after that you will get a confidence remaining things will be easy so test test discussion orientation test discussion will be there while giving the handouts also i will give you the old questions also we will discuss the key for the answer and then uh, feedback also will be given for the test and then full test uh, you have to write it so how the test is scheduled means see already we know that <coughs> 14 test is there part test after 14 test take this so uh, while while completing the entire syllabus 14 test will be over after completing our classes my idea is you take the next one month and complete the 15 to 20 the four chapters you complete it four test section test and then write the full test and then wind up psa and then go entirely into um, what is a uh, preliminary okay so you can make this as a revision class revision test 15 to 18 is just a revision test for you so 14 test is the content all the content will be covered 14 test 15 to 18 again you are going to revisit all the 14 test in four test it's a revision test so my recommendation is we can we can go for this revision test after the end of the class the last day of the class you go for a full revision write the full test and then have a good confidence on psr okay if uh, mains i am writing means i will write very well like that you just complete it and then what you can do you can start preparing for preliminary complete preliminary uh, and then you again come to me you join the test batch and then what you do is uh, uh, you you should focus on how to improve the PSAR answers after preliminary. The three months you are having, no two months preparation, one month revision. During that time, all you have to do is how to improve my answer, because till the last day you have to do it. There is uh, there is uh, no one particular stage that I am hundred percent good. Till the last day, you have to improve. Because lot of things are daily, slowly only you, you have to improve. That only is good. And many people, what they will do is starting itself they will run like Usain Bolt these people will not maybe for first 100 meters he may be the champion after that he can't run this is a marathon race and you should not run like a rabbit and then sleep in between and then again run that also is failure like a tortoise please go that is my uh, slowly you go but don't stop anywhere steadily you move forward slow daily one one improvement small small improvement but at the end of the day result will come okay so that rabbit i don't want okay running very fast and then taking a break and then uh, and then again coming back means by the time the race will be over again so like a tortoise let us know okay, it's the best strategy my idea for this subject once you have gone through the subject means after that you can you can uh, uh, you can take care of yourself no big problem is there the foundation till we construct that foundation what we do is slow and steadily we will go so any question is there means you can ask me. Yes?
People online also can ask question. Yes? Ah, regarding daily answer writing. See how you will get a question? I have to give the question. See, you are writing, a, you are, see, question also, you are asking, answering, you are giving means what is this? I have to give the question. See, question based on previous year question, based on, uh, that means I will frame such that you can cover the entire syllabus. Like that I will frame, okay? So, leave the question part to me and feedback part to me. Your part is, what I am telling is, take the question, prepare for the question and then write the question. No harm. Even in the starting time, you can see the book and then write it, no problem. So, what I'm, I wanted to uh, ensure is, for a question, you should have, you should know how to write an answer. Because answer, in, people know, but it will not come. I, I, based on my experience, past year experiences, I am telling. So, that part will give more importance, okay. So, other subjects, other, everywhere, nowhere, they will do this. So, this is extra thing, extra work. Extra work means, see, always you have to go for that extra mile, then only you can clear. Everybody will be working very hard for preliminary examination. Good students are there. Bright, good students means in the sense, bright, sincere students were there. Even they study well, they are not clearing sometimes. So, something they are lagging. So, this is what I felt, okay. So, write, daily write one, one question, like a tortoise, let us move. Test, stick to the schedule. So, for test and all, no relaxation, okay. Write the 20 test, full, all questions you have to attend. Write it in full test mode. This, I will, conveniently you can do it. Any day you can do it. But don't bring the questions, 5 question, 10 question at a time. One question, two question also, okay, no problem. Beyond that means, uh, it will be difficult for me to, because lot of people will be there, no? I have to correct for everybody. So, I, or I will, I will, I will, I will make one particular chart, question wise, okay? So, I will, uh, according to the chart, I will move. So, you come along with that. So, that will be better. So, that uh, the 100 to 150 questions, you will write it, okay? Uh, that is to complete the entire syllabus, concept clarity, and then how to write an answer. So, for this purpose, that question will be there. Test, 100% test mode. Okay, then. What about? Book list is there, but most of the books are too much. Either the book will be too much or too little, like that only books are there. So, that is why I am telling for static part, you just wait for that handouts I am giving. I am, uh, for all static parts, I will give you. Okay, so so I will update and then I will give you. So what what I am asking is attend the class, and in the class you will get some class notes also, and immediately after the class on the same day read the class notes first. What we have discussed in the class on the day you read means it will not take much more than uh, five, uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Just to go through that or 45 minutes, and after that you read the handouts. And if you have time after that means you can go for the book. But uh, what I am telling is I think you can stick to this uh, class, listening to the class, class notes and the handouts. Okay. And I will tell you where to read, when to buy a book. Don't uh, buy all the books and then decorate your, uh, what do you say, put a library. Okay. And till the end of the year, till the end of your preparation, I have certain books. That book is in new, new, new book. Unused old book. Like that books are there. Easily we can find out that uh, uh, if you are not read that particular page means it won't get that stain, you know, that brown color stain. Easily we can find out which which area you have prepared, okay. Like the don't buy books now as of now. I will tell you. There are certain books are there, general books are there. Again, again you have to read general readings also. I will, I will tell you. Okay, I will share you some PDF, okay. Or um, <coughs> certain books are there, um, uh, we will put a... You can buy it separately. They will. I will ar arrange uh, that uh, Xerox. Okay, books. I am telling because if, if it is a high, that means high priced documents, no need to buy that. I will arrange it. Handouts I will give you. Okay. And then another thing, what I wanted to tell you is, after preparing any topic, you have to concise that entire material into one page, something like this. Okay. Just for a sample, I am telling. For plateau, plateau means this is plateau. This is plateau. The plateau is the entire summary. Whatever they are, if, so for example, if I am a student, I, I only prepared this. I am having this in my hand. You ask me any question regarding plateau, with the words which I have here, I can write, I can answer any question. Answering is not a problem. And you, you write this in one page. So what you have to do is, first you have to take the class notes, and then from the handout you, you take a big notes. And after that what you have to do, you have to concise your notes. 
you have to limit your nodes third time when you are going you just reduce your nodes to one third and then fourth time again you take nodes reduce your nodes to one page that one page node should come don't take this in the first instance itself it won't work so the fourth or fifth time i have taken like this in the fifth round only i can do like this if you can say something very simply means then only you are very clear in that directly you can't say anything simply first you have to have a vast reading and then reduce into half and then another half and then third time fourth time and finally okay this is the entire content when you have an understanding after that you have to bring that entire content to one page like this something like this i'll share this also don't worry okay and then leave the second page blank so here what you can do is you can you can write some hints the current affairs how you can bring that particular idea relate this how to compare contrast to other thinkers like that and all the extra points you can write it here and go through this particular page at least 100 times before the exam 100 times means it won't take time first 3 4 times only it will take time after that and all just one second only just you flip the page in a4 sheet better do this just daily daily see this frequently see this and at times means at least so some 25 times you have to see see once you are again again seeing that means on the day of the examination this will this particular thing what you have prepared will come in front of you like an image can understand like that you should get used to this thing then only you can write a very quick answer quickly with no time you can write the answer in a prescribed time you have to complete the answer means you should again again go through this because certain questions you have to think and write for the time uh, for those questions you can allocate more time for questions direct questions or not directly you have quickly you have to write five minutes you have to write an answer means 250 marks are there five questions will be there um uh, and you have to note that every question you can 50 marks carries 50 marks five questions mean 250 marks every question you can spend 35 minutes maximum 5 into 35 minutes 1 hour on uh, that means 175 minutes 5 minutes you will have spare time this is the strategy so 35 minutes for 50 marks so there will be two uh, section a section b will be there in section a four questions will be there section b four question will be there question number 1 and 5 is compulsory section a first question section b the first question is question number 5 both are compulsory question you have to write it compulsory question will be 5 into 10 marks so section uh, a 2 3 4 is there section b 6 7 8 is there out of this six question you have to answer just three question at least writing one question from each section that means all together in one section you will be writing three question another section you will be writing two questions so this is the strategy so five questions means within the prescribed time you have to write it people will take lot of time they may not complete the answers in proper time if you miss 10 mark in uh, option paper means one year is gone for us gs no big problem gs 20 questions will be there half of the questions we don't know like the only questions is going to come okay no problem i may not know for question number 5 to 10 other student may not know question number 16 to 20 that's all so no big uh, problem will be there we can, the damage is there means we can control that but in option paper any option paper i am telling you are you are not writing one 10 mark question properly means that is going to create problem for us that that uh, name list we may not be there so perfect execution should be there for option paper so that's why i am telling writing we will have more writing practice Uh, first in uh, first i prepare 100 questions the daily uh, you just practice that key also i will give and bring it to me i will correct it or i will arrange certain people they let them correct okay we will see depending upon the situation if i am available means you can any time you can come to me okay so like that we will do it okay any other questions yes yes see I, i i prepared a full that means see even after completing my entire preparation i mean earlier i was also an aspirant okay leave it so now you have to note that while for teaching purpose again i started from zero and i read referred a lot of books but had one basic book okay remaining things i referred from different uh, sources after that finally i compiled not from one source 
okay so what i'm telling is no, you need not do that okay all you do is just to follow just to, you follow one or two classes after that you will feel how far you have to read it so today so today I, 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 there is no answer that whether you have to follow only the class or you have to read some extra books the class is no class listening to the class class notes and then the handouts that is the end or not you have to find it out one or two uh, classes after that only you have to find it out okay so just wait okay so no need so if you are reading lot means that is going to create problem that i will tell you so what you have to do you have to read the same book again and again instead of going for multiple number of books read the book same book again and again so no one particular book is good guides are there don't buy the guides okay so um, at the <coughs> i also given the um, the book list also so for paper 1 section a two books is a reference book one is introduction to political theory by op goba western political thought by op goba these two books you can buy you can have it as your reference that uh, that introduction to political theory by op goba is a good book indian political thought is, uh, is also there by op goba don't buy that that book is little complex don't buy that <coughs> western political thought and the introduction to political theory this seven chapters will be covered in uh, first book the 10th chapter alone will be covered in book number 2 for uh, section b indian government and politics by b l fadia the sahitya academy book i mean sahitya publications not academy sahitya publications so this book also little bulk okay so my advice is don't buy this asam well. but definitely buy this indian polity by lakshmi kant so in gs they are covering no so while they cover the subjects you have to be master in that okay so cover, uh, definitely do this once you are good in this after that only you have to take this book first uh, in the starting itself we are taking the fadia book means waste because the book size is this much even after 2 3 years you can't complete it so even the lakshmi kant book is little bulk okay but anyway you have to do this for gs purpose so do this and uh, with book number 4 plus newspaper we can complete section b section b is over no actually there is no need for book number 3 but you need examples you need uh, um, other uh, explanations means it will be good in 3 3 is politics book this is polity book polity difference from politics politics means what is uh, happening practical polity means the theory what is written in the uh, constitution and then paper 2 two, two books are there five or six any one book you can buy one is global politics by andrew hewitt so very uh, far in other book local print is not available normally so far in other uh, since it is a far in other book far in book book cost 2000 3000 rupees i have the pdf so what we can do is i will circulate the pdf you can take print out so in a group you put means uh, the print out charge also you can bring it down or you put one print out remaining you can put a xerox means 50 rupees per page like that you can manage or we will uh, we will make some arrangement for uh, book number 5 while we are uh, discussing this book number 6 also is good by lisson smith this pdf also i am having it book also i am having it but 5 uh, uh, or 6 means you go for 5 that is better because the language is very lucid simple and then uh, book size also not that much big but this is language the font and all it's little smaller and then igno materials also is available indira gandhi open university material so uh, for paper 2 section a one book will not cover anything because certain chapters or the topics are there they have given a book name itself subject name itself political sociology but what they are asking is what is called political sociology approach what is called political economy approach that's all, that question only they are asking you want to know what is political economy means it is a this much book size but they are just asking what is that that's all okay so that's why i said where to limit our reading you just follow the class after that you can buy it and then for india and the world newspaper is enough apart from that you can buy this world focus magazine one magazine 100 rupees magazine is there monthly so that magazine uh, you can buy it worldfocus.org just to check it means net you can buy it directly so locally it is not available 100 rupees only per month but every month uh, what they will do is they will cover only one area only india pakistan means all the chapters will be india pakistan only different different perspective except the november december edition november De- uh, december edition will be a comprehensive edition 
all uh, that means uh, india and the world like that fully it will be there so definitely by november december edition other edition selectively you can buy india and west asia means you can buy like that so i will tell you which book you have to buy you can order online uh, like five six people ordering together means that uh, uh, that means the postal charge also they, it is not there one book means 100 rupees means you have to pay 150 rupees postal charge is there so what you do is you form a group and then you can buy like that we can Newspaper is the main source, okay? Even this world focus is not enough. Newspaper, Hindu newspaper is more than enough. Indian Express also you can go. So, for uh, following the newspaper, so I will give you a uh, link, okay? Telegram link. So, I will I will pasting, I am pasting the e-paper also, the entire paper also. And then if something is more important for PSCR student means, that page also I am separately I am posting. Okay, just you go through that. Like that you can follow. Then, any other question is there? Both these books, yeah. Both these books. Chapter 1 to 7, first book. Chapter number 10, the second book. Chapter number 9, Indian political thought, don't buy any book, okay. Either the book is uh, very little or too much, like the only books are there. So, just to follow the class. So, this book definitely you can buy. So, as of now, if you, if you are asking me to buy it, buy these two books as of now. Western Political Thought by O.P. Goba. Introduction to Political Theory by O.P. Goba. <coughs> anyway, for static part, so this part and this part, I will give you material. The second part, you will see. Depending upon any issue is coming, means by the time, uh, based on that issue, we will prepare some material, current affairs, newspaper, uh, editorials, based on that we will take. So, it will not be in one book format, that is the point, okay. So, because I am revising everything, the old books are, uh, that means what they have here, it is very complex, that is not required. And uh, I feel, and uh, the current affairs based material also, we cannot prepare, because it, we, once we prepare and then going to the print and coming to the market, you have to, or to the student, it will become outdated. So, that is the problem, okay. Yes, any other question? Yes? Freely you can come and um, meet me and I will also give my number also, okay. Uh, you can contact me <coughs> in Telegram. In Telegram. Most of the time I will be in class, so I may not take phone if you directly call me. So what you do is I am asking you to put a message in Telegram and then I will tell you or if I am available means immediately I will call or uh, in the um, set time you can call me, okay. <coughs> Online students, any, uh, any doubt is there? How many people are there? Uh, any doubt is there online students? So unmute it and then you, you have to speak. And I am asking all students to come and attend the class directly so that I will know your face. Then only regularly I can follow you. Okay, so uh, regularly bring me the questions daily. Okay, so frequently if I see, means I know where, where you are, how you can improve. Yes? Yes? Sir, uh, actually, uh, for now, I can't, uh, can't guarantee. So, what about the daily test? What about daily? Right. Daily test? Yeah, you said uh, daily test. See, so you are an online student. Yes, sir. I can't come there directly as of now. See, you are an online student, means you can write the test daily, but I can't give and correct you, you know, how I can do it. That is the problem. Test, we can do it. Test and all, we will okay. make some arrangement. Okay, daily test. Daily test means that is my extra effort I am putting. Okay. So, only when you bring the paper. Uh, when you, only when you bring it directly or you do uh, write the test and then uh, where you are from? Uh, I am actually in Trambrum, but I am having some uh, work here. Where, where you are from? I am in Trambrum, sir, in Chennai. Tam but I am Trambrum? Yes, sir, I am in Trambrum in America. See, sir, ta you are in Trambrum. No, no, what I am telling is you just come and meet me someday. That's all. That is the only thing I can do. 
So write the test and then come and meet me someday. That is the only only way. Okay. So daily, uh, frequently you are writing means telegram, attending the telegram itself will become a problem. Okay. So I am not encouraging. Don't send me anything online. Okay. Except the main test will make some arrangement. Okay. But uh, the daily test, you only when you bring it directly, then only I can give. The class we will discuss questions daily in the class question discussion also we will include uh, depending upon that uh, what topic we have taken on the day at the end of the day uh, this is what the question has been in the past years how to answer this like that also we can discuss okay yes ah. any other question online students so I am asking all you people to come and attend directly. So for that only that one daily one question, that that initiative, okay, to encourage students. Okay, make use of that. Okay, then any other any other doubt is there? Ah, yes, yes. So other students, if you, if you want to remain, means you can remain. Either if you want to go, means you can go. No issue. I will answer all the questions from online and then I will go. I will end the class. Yes. Yes? Puncha. Okay. Recording stopped.